This is a weekday in my life and every day brings new challenges and experiences but this is usually how my day starts like so come along with me and let's go through the morning. Good morning everyone, welcome back. If you are new on my channel and if you like this video, please consider subscribing so that we can stay connected and let's get into our morning routine. So what I have done as early as possible is to soak the moong dal, the green moong dal and the split yellow moong dal so that I can make the curry later on. So today is Friday and that means Adi has lunch from school. It's a pizza day for him at school. So I let him pick his lunch from school once a week. So he prefers to do that on a Friday. So for me, there is no preparation of lunch box. That means a little more relaxed breakfast. So I'm trying to prepare something good so that the kids and adults will enjoy alike. And let's get started. So what I've done already is yesterday night I had just kept kept these two flour mixtures this is one cup of soya bean flour and this is one cup of rice flour so i am going to make a soya bean flour dosa it's going to be fluffy and crispy at the same time it's a different texture and i hope your kids will enjoy it if you make it for them and you must make it for them because it's very very healthy and tasty so let's quickly prepare. We also, it's going to be a very hectic morning today because I have to take Anjali outside. So lunch, I also am going to get started. For lunch, it's going to be chapati and moong dal curry, Kerala special moong dal. So I'm going to get started with making the chapati dough in the atta kneading attachment which I have in my grinder so that my hands don't get messy and I can do something else alongside. So let's pull the grinder outside and get the atta uh, dough mixing before making the dosa. So I'm going to take this grinding stone away and I'm going to put this atta kneading attachment. It looks like this and so I'll show you how I make the chapati dough. So I've taken two cups of flour and about one cup of water here. I'm just going to heat it up. So I'm just going to start it and then add in the flour, the salt, the oil and the water, very hot water little by little so that it mixes well. Make sure to add the water little by little and not all together so that the dough formation is good. And then by the time that is happening, I'm just going to keep all the other ingredients ready for making the dosa. So I shall add both the flowers into a bowl and then some chopped up cilantro leaves as well. And then I'll add some asafoetida and some ginger garlic paste. And then to make the batter, I'll add some water little by little so that there is no lumps uh, that is formed. And then I'll add some salt and the batter is ready. I'll keep it for some time and then make the dosa. Meanwhile, let's see what is happening with the dough here. So it is almost ready and then if it gets stuck like this, use a spatula and just push it through so that it can keep moving and now as you can see the dough is soft and ready i'll keep it for some time and then make the chapatis later on and then i'll also add some flax seeds into the batter so that i can add in some omega-3 into it and then we can make the dosa now so i'm also talking to my family back in india this is the time that i usually speak to them and i'm also making the dosa these dosas are so easy to make. You can make it instantly if you have these two flowers at home. 
and you must definitely try out if you haven't made it you can have it with chutney sambar or and today i'm gonna have it with our favorite everyone loves it it is a coconut pudi that we got from the indian store and then i'm making the dosas here one by one and keeping it all ready for all of us side by side i will also pressure cook the das that we had soaked early in the morning It is about 6:30 now and it's time to call Adi because he has to get ready for school. For the curry that we are making, I'm also grinding some grated coconut, green chilies, and cumin seeds along with a little bit of water. Then I'll heat up a pot, add some oil, and then fry some mustard seeds and some chopped up onions. And then once it's sorted well, I will add in the masala powders. And I'm going to leave it halfway here because it's time to take Adi to his bus stop. But before that, I'm just going to take the trash bags into the car and dump it in the garbage disposal. And then I am coming back and then I'll take Adi because it's nice to walk outside in the morning if it's not so cold. I really love to walk and if that is an option, I will not take the car to the bus stop. And then I'll also get to meet a few friends and talk with them Bye. while I leave Adi to school. Okay, so I am back now from dropping Adi and actually I am going to just finish off the curry and make the chapatis and then I have to take Anjali to her doctor's appointment. She actually had a little cold and fever but now it's almost gone. They just want to come and check her once again today so that to make sure everything is clear in her throat and lungs. So I'm going to go there within some time. So by the time Anjali is awake now, it's a Friday but Anjali is not going to go to school today because she's just recovering from her cold and I have to take her to the clinic as well. So she's having a milk and then her breakfast and I will also take some time and eat some breakfast. Okay. Uh -oh. And then it is going to be 8.30 and that means I have to publish my video. So I already uploaded it and keep it the previous night and um, at, eight, at around 8.30 I make it public so that you all can view it. And yes, some comments are coming up and then I get so happy to read all of that. Now remember the curry that we had stopped cooking midway. So I'm just finishing it up by adding the grated coconut mixture and the dal mixture and some water and it's done. I'll also make some chapatis and keep before we go. Okay, I just finished the work in the kitchen. And today is December 14th. What do I have is Anjali's appointment. 
clean the fridge upload the video that's done anjali's appointment is at 11 o'clock and when she sleeps i will clean the fridge okay so that's the schedule for today and the past two days anjali was not feeling that well she was having a bad cold and cough and also we just took her to the doctor and they gave her this nebulizer so that she can just inhale and uh, make clear off her throat and nose a little bit so we were doing that for her and she's feeling much better today so we're just going to the doctor so that she can check her out and make sure everything is clear now okay so we are getting ready to go and i hope i am just looking a little put together i just put some mascara on to feel and look a little awake for the past two nights we haven't got enough rest and anjali last night it was okay she slept peacefully but the other two nights she was disturbed in the middle of the night and it wasn't so good so anyways it's a part of life and i'm happy that she's feeling much better now and let's go let's go yes Okay, so we are getting ready to go back home and even though I say that she feels better, if the doctor says that she is better, it gives a lot of relief. Okay. So anyways, we are going back home. Are you ready to go back home? Yeah. Yeah. Bye.